the vampire cannot enter your house without being invited first. Did you know that rule about vampires? Yeah, it's in Twilight. <sighs> really? Mm-hmm. It's all your vampire knowledge from Twilight? Basically. Basically. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another spooky movie for Halloween season. And tonight's theme? Earwigs? Earwigs? No, uh, just vampires. Oh, vampires. Okay. Yeah, yeah earwigs. Because huh? there's a whole genre of horror films. There earwigs. should be. Earwigs are fucking weird. Yeah, not as weird as vampires, though. Well, actually, they're probably weirder. I don't know. It's, it's a it's tough to debate. Say. Hard to say. Yeah. But no, we're watching a vampire movie. Cool. And we had a huge poll. We had like a Dracula movie up there, Interview with a Vampire, and this movie beat both those to my surprise. Oh, so it's a good one, huh? Fright Night from 1985. Okay. This movie is has a sequel. It also has a remake, and that remake has a sequel. So it kinda should be kind of sounds like a good. Goosebumps movie or something. What's wrong with Goosebumps? Fright Night. Are you disrespecting Goosebumps right now? I would never. Okay. But no, this I, I've actually seen this, but it's I probably saw it when I was like a teenager. Okay. And it's been a while since I've been a teenager, so. Yes, it has. I don't remember anything about it. And it was probably one of those nights where I grabbed four vampire movies and marathoned them, right? So I can't remember anything about this movie. Cool. But it's supposed to be pretty good. Sweet. Well, let's jump into it. Should we jump into it? Yeah. Let's do it. But first. But first, grab your coldest water. At coldest.com, use code YMTM to get 10% off your order. You'll get a mug, a water bottle, a koozie, whatever you need to keep keep your drinks cold. Check this right? out, you guys. That bottle right there will keep the ice in there cold for 36 hours. And it's sparkly. Yeah. They have a bunch of different colors, white, black, or if you want bold colors, sparkly colors, check it out. That's for every personality. Pretty cool. Coldest.com, use code YMTM, get 10% off your order. Go check it out. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Fright Night. Yeah, Fright Night. And a bunch of other scary shit. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to reviews. Following come to your access to polls helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Fright Night. Here we go. I thought you said this was about vampires. Are you watching the wrong movie? It's chilly out here. Oh, no, it isn't. Is it from the 80s? It almost sounds like the 1940s. 1985. Chris they're, Sarandon. They're probably watching classic horror in the 80s. Oh, on TV or something? Yeah. So pale. So luminescent. They're watching Twilight from the, like, the 1940s, like 1940s Twilight. Would you like to kiss them? Her fangs? Kiss the fangs? No, her red lips. Oh. Why are you looking at me so strangely, Nina? Has anyone ever told you? It was beautiful. No. Come. Who are you who interrupts my nightly feeding? <laughs> ah. You have the same reaction I when I say that to you. Peter Vincent... <laughs> The wrong end. <laughs> Pointer. Oh my! We used to have one of those. My dad used to have one of those. Making out. Mom and Dad will never see us here. It's Peter Vincent bringing you right night. Peter Vincent's a play on Peter Cushing and Vincent Price. Hmm. Mixing their names. Charlie, I said stop it! Jesus, Amy, give me a break! I'm just scared, that's all. Turn off the horror flicks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into bed. Alright, well, him feeling you up, the shirt is a little different than, like, getting into bed like yeah. you don't have to go from zero to 70 yeah. just go 55 <laughs> you could go 35 50 charlie 
I'm ready. There are two guys out in the yard, and I think they're carrying a coffin. Amy, I'm serious. So am I. Do you want to make love or not? Man, I feel bad if she thinks that that is the only option. Making out and then doing it. First you want to make love, and then you don't. Amy? Charlie? What's wrong? Awkward. Well, good night, Charlie. Yeah, good night. It's not getting late again. Or ever. Didn't I tell you? Bob Hoskins said he finally got rid of the place. who do he sell it to? I don't know. Some this fellow who fixes up houses for a living. I just hope whoever he is, he knows what he's getting into with his house. Gonna... Ooh, he comes with his own coffin. Uh, hopefully it's not the same guys from the Burbs. I know. I, that's what I was just thinking, actually. I was <laughs> like, wow, this is kind of like the Burbs. Sweet Stang. It's a new paint job. Is this 99 Oak? No. No, it's next door. Oh. The lady looks like that, asks you if this is the right address. You say it's whatever address you <laughs> want it to be, ma'am. That's how I met you. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I did hear he's got a live in carpenter. My luck? It's probably gay. No, I don't think. <laughs> Is that like a scream of passion? It could have been what she said was doing last night. <laughs> Charlie just woke up. Look, I'm really sorry about the other night. Oh, it was my fault, not yours. It was? <laughs> I don't know what it's Corvallis. been like. The second victim whose body Being was found early in the morning was a known here. prostitute. Mm, the lady of the night. Charlie? Ooh. That was messy. Oh, you're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> That's a sloppy Joe to the face. Extra sloppy. Mm, extra sloppy for you. Hey, kid. He's painting that window black. Yeah. Got it. Are they putting on a show? Is this girlfriend? Huh. Oh, welcome on back. Do you mean the boobies? We we have boobies so many times I hardly even recognize them anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you really shouldn't be so obviously looking at them. Ew. Ugh. What? You don't like his ring? Long fingernails on a boy. On anybody, I don't like it on most people, but especially a dude who's... Ugh. Well, I'll get my clip then. Oh, that was fast. Uh oh. You're not fooling anyone, you freaking stupid kid. He also doesn't have long fingernails now. Like they only come out when his fangs come out, like a uh -huh. cat. He's a vampire. A what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in vampires? I'm not sure. Uh -huh. My instincts say no, but, I mean, I believe in lots of other weird shit, so why not vampires? Yeah. I mean, I do believe that there are people who wish they were vampires who maybe suck the blood of other people. I'm just not <laughs> sure that there are actually people who transform from bats into people who suck blood to survive, and I don't know. I was here with Jerry all last night. There was nobody else in the house. Uh, that's a lie. I saw him carry her body out in a plastic bag. <laughs> I, so. I did take some bags out last night. They were full of trash. Amy? Here, let me show you. Look. Look in the basement instead. What's down there, Charlie? Yes, Charlie. What's down there? There's nothing in the basement. A coffin! 
Oh. That's what's down there, a coffin. I saw him carry it in. What? Yeah, and you'll find Jerry Dandridge in it, sleeping the sleep of the undead. Ooh. <laughs> what, have, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I saw him in that room last night, and he had fangs, and he bit her on the neck. For heaven's sake, come on. What? <laughs> this guy's like, oh shit, he he knows. It's a vampire. Sure, and I'm dirty here. Now let me tell you something, kid. If I ever catch you. <laughs> it's almost sundown. Look, I've got eight bucks. You help me, and and it's yours. Uh, well. Far be it from me to turn down a fool's money. <laughs> Eight bucks. <laughs> Is that a vampire cannot enter your house without being invited first. Did you know that rule about vampires? Yeah, it's in Twilight. <sighs> really? Mm-hmm. It's all your vampire knowledge from Twilight? Basically. Basically. It's so embarrassing. Can it please? There's someone I'd like you to meet. <laughs> yeah, Mom. She already invited him in because he's a handsome fella. He's drinking a Bloody Mary. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. He is handsome. Ice cold. What's he doing here? I invited him over for a drink. Now that I've been made welcome, I'll probably drop by quite a bit. <laughs> Darn lonely mom. Is Dave Rod there? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. He has no reflection. He just locked his mom in, too. Now, we wouldn't want to wake your mother, would we, Charlie? <laughs> then I'd have to kill her, too. Right up! You don't think that's gonna wake her? <laughs> oh, no, it was Arcade. Forget about me, and I'll forget about you. What do you say, Charlie? I feel like it's a fair trade. Forget about me, I'll forget about you. Although he's killing people, so... Yeah, he's really strong. Pencil? It's like a wooden stake through the heart? We just gotta arm ourselves with lots of pencils. I got a shit ton of Ticonderogas upstairs, so I think we're good. Ooh. He look rough. Charlie, can you hear me? All he needed was a number two pencil. Sleep. Well, but, sweetie, what about your nightmare? Do you want a Valium? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> my sleep. I start the night shift tomorrow. Three o'clock in the morning. It's so bad for my good work. Night, Mom. <laughs> Maybe that's what you need is a night shift job. Uh, what do you fucking call this? This is a night shift here. <laughs> I just destroyed your car, Charlie. But that's nothing compared to what I'm going to do to you tomorrow night. Is that a threat or a promise? Yes. Go, Peter. <laughs> what do you mean? I have just been fired because nobody wants to see vampire killers anymore. Apparently all they want are demented madmen running around in ski masks, hacking up young virgins. <laughs> it's a hockey mask, not a ski mask. See, now he's going to be back after me tonight, Mr. Vincent. And if I don't get help, he's going to kill me. Mr. Vincent! Go to the library. 
read a book. He's watched enough Fright Night, he should know, right? Exactly. Hi! Garlic, see ya. <laughs> I'm waiting for the guy he lives with to leave, and then I'm gonna go next door and find his coffin and pound this to his heart. That's murder, Charlie. You can't murder a vampire, Amy. They're dead. Remember? Yeah, explain that to the courts. Well, if they're already dead, you can't kill them again. Yeah, explain that to the courts. <laughs> All right, try them again. Great. Now you promise you're not going to do anything till you hear from us, okay? They're going in. You don't believe me, do you? I love you, Charlie. She doesn't believe you, but she loves you. <laughs> I get that a lot. Yeah. You remember a fruitcake kid named Charlie Brewster? He said he came to see you. No. He's the one that believes a vampire's living next door to him? Oh, yes. You know, he is insane. <laughs> you know, like an orgy of the damned, where uh, you looked in the mirror, the guy didn't have a reflection, and uh, then you knew he was a vampire. I think he's actually killed a vampire? No way. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Just pretend vampires. How about holy water? No, won't do either. Tell him it's just ordinary tap water. All he has to do is sip it. Oh, yes, 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 okay. Uh, that sounds fine. But, uh, oh. Seems we don't have to go out tonight after all. His friends are bringing him over tomorrow night to prove to him that I'm not a vampire. <laughs> He's gonna eat all of them? <sighs> It's like DoorDash for vampires. Here he comes! This does look like the same street as the Burps, doesn't it? It probably is. It's probably the same universal lot. This is holy water. That if a drop touches him, he will blister. Is that really holy water, you think? Maybe. How's this gonna go? Or maybe not. <laughs> That's a good answer, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, that settles it then. <laughs> he loves himself some fruit. Now, who are these two attractive young people? Ed Thompson. Ed. Amy Peterson. Uh oh. If she was in that portrait, she, he met her before, like in another life, or like he's a time traveling well, vampire. Like, well, she's not in, a vampire. She's in been his out dreams. Day. I know. She's but reincarnated, one of his old brides. Could be. As you may or may not know, Charlie even brought the police over a few days ago. Charlie, you did? Damn right I did. Only they didn't believe me any more than any of you. But you'll believe me in a second. They actually believed you less. Bottoms up. It's just tap water. And wasn't blessed. Are you calling me a liar, young man? If he's not a vampire... A, you've been a great help. Not at all. Glad to be of service. It's very nice meeting both of you. Please, please feel free to drop by. How is he going to convince his friends? Mirror. That goes for you too, Ed. I expect we have a lot of the same interests. You know, in horror movies and the occult. <gasps> you saw something in there, didn't you? You saw something that convinced you he was a vampire. He didn't cast a reflection in my mirror. Satisfied now? Mr. Vincent, you have to call the police. Mr. Vincent, shit! What are the police gonna do? Laugh at him, call him crazy. Oh, come on, please, just stick with this, all right? Forget it! You may be chicken shit, but I'm not! Bye, dude. See you later. <laughs> Later, evil. Jesus, I warned him! Oh, he got me, Charlie! He bit me! He's just dicking around. There are no such things as vampires, fruitcake! Famous last words. He 
His jacket was so gross. You don't like his leather jacket? It is very ugly. Do you think he believes him now? <laughs> he is acting like it. I'd be looking for some pencils. A palette. That pallet, that pallet. That pallet, that pallet. Should have never gone down that alley. He's just gonna parkour his way up that wall. He's fucked. Take my hand. Just don't pull his fingertips off. He's gonna become one. What was that? Maybe. Wood box. Wood box. Pallet. Pallet. <laughs> Who is it? Me, Evil Ed. What do you want? Hurry, there's a vampire. He's a vampire out. now. Not me. <laughs> now, I used to admire you, you know that? Well, of course. Wooden cane, wooden cane. Is that gonna heal or is he permanently like that? I think it'll heal. Is he gonna die now? No. He got away. It's almost the most short lived vampire life ever. I am not mm. going to let him get you, Amy. I promise. He's gonna take her in like the next scene. <laughs> They should have a dance off. Great idea. Great idea. What is it about 80s music? That's just like. It's just it's, fun. It's like annoying synthesizer, but it's always enjoyable. It's the right notes. And she's gone. She's in some kind of trance. He's just rubbing his boner all over her. All right, dirty dancing style. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> Hungry eyes. Is that going to play next? This is how I like to dance. I was going to say, why don't you dance with me like this? Because you don't dance with me like that. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh, she is really into him. Oh my god. Oh gosh, you're in a public place. Your boyfriend's going to be pissed. Her hair got so much volume all of a sudden. That's what happens when you get sweaty. She's also like in high school. And... I got him. Come on. You want chicken, man? You go someplace else. Out of my way. Move me. Remember him? No. Who is he? He's one of the bikers from Friday the 13th Part 3. Oh. We 
We're gonna need some new bouncers. That's how people get trampled to death. That's why I don't go to public places. Man. Fear of being trampled to yeah. death. <laughs> Fear of sexy vampires and being trampled to death, <laughs> obviously. But Dandridge has Amy! He says he's gonna kill her unless we come to his house. Oh my god. The police! <laughs> We're gonna have to save Amy. I can't. Well, not with that attitude. That, that isn't even my real name. I, I'm terrified. I... What's his real name? Paul. Paul Vankman. <laughs> Paul Vankman. <laughs> like Ghostbusters ring. <laughs> it's a nice stereo system. his love why does he have those little eyes Charlie really missed his opportunity yeah oh that fucking sucks no he sucks Good one. Your blood. So she turns into a vampire, or did he kill her? Um, depends on how long he sucks for. That's what she said. Gonna ignore the ghost bodyguard sitting in the chair. <laughs> Let's go around the back and sneak in. They're expecting you. Kill her. I think that is the same house from the Burbs. It kind of looks similar, doesn't it? At least the outside. And I was thinking the inside looked similar. So. Does it? Let's go back at dawn. You see? He'll be asleep then, and we'll have a better chance of getting Amy. And Amy will be dead by then, too. Or not. You're ruining the finish. Somebody's gonna have to fill that now. That's what she said. Welcome to Fright Night. For real. Where's Amy? Up here. All you have to do is get by me. <laughs> Why did they put the fake fingers on the end of his fingers? He just had some fresh blood. You have to have faith for this to work on me. Hmm. Why to work on evil? Stop! That's make it acting. <laughs> Youch. Sweet. Super useful. See you, Peter. Operator, it can't be that. This is booster. Already dead. Well, apparently. She's working nights. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Grab one of them legs you just broke. Oh. Hmm. Vampires can turn into wolves. Vampires are wolves? They're shapeshifters? Missed the heart. Or did he get him? Gross.
Pretty, pretty disgusting. Good, great practical effects. When they gross you out, you know they're good. How do you explain this? With the dead teenager with a wooden stake through his heart in mm. your foyer? And she's changing. That's a bummer. Yeah. Got some shit going down. She seems to have more confidence now. Mm. Is it too late to save her? No. You have an anti-vampire serum? Kill Danridge before dawn. You sure? So far. Everything has been like it was in the movies. Peter's definitely gonna die. Think so? Nothing. Oh, he's special. What's his deal? He's a werewolf? I brought silver bullets. He's Frankenstein? He's a machine? He's a vampire? Is he? <laughs> it looks like he's dead. The other guy didn't do this when you stabbed him in the chest. That's unique. Uh, She's worse. Come on, I'm running out of time. Kill them. Both. <laughs> She's not ready. So he still doesn't have faith. Or your girl's gone forever. All the cuckoo clocks are going off. Stab him, Charlie. Charlie, do something. Jesus. Stab him. Quick, he's in the basement. No, he's not already. He's gonna be a vampire. If they kill him, though. He won't turn. They're supposed to kill him before dawn. The sun just came up. That seems they like dawn to me. They have until the sun is completely over this horizon. I think that's the. That rule. is a loose interpretation. <laughs> Sexy, right? You should be a vampire for Halloween. <laughs> Wear that dress. Don't be frightened, Charlie. Her fangs are poking out. Yeah. Don't you want me anymore? Totally. Amy. She's got a big mouth. Yeah. Pennywise, like. Oh. Her 
Hurry it up, you guys. Jesus. Ah! Hurry up! Fucking shit, you guys. Oh my god. It's also his shoulder, not his heart. why vampires should never get daylight basements. Hmm. All right. Ah! He's really cooking now. They save Amy. I think so. Yep, she's back. Uh, there's still like a dead teenager, naked teenager. In, in his, his living house. room? Yeah. yeah. They must have cleared it before his mom got home. Yes. Burn that house down. something there yeah <laughs> oh, pulled the stake out of his heart before he like disintegrated so mm. he just probably just healed himself right that's exactly what i was thinking when he pulled the stake out when he was just laying there on the living room floor i'm like what if he just like heals quickly yeah. and pulls the stake out mm -hmm. you gotta like, leave the stake in right yeah until they so. completely Im explode yeah so evil ed Still alive. Yeah. They should have known that when he didn't. When body. they weren't there. Yeah, when he wasn't there anymore. Wasn't there. Well, all right. That was Fright Night. All right. A classic. Chris Sarandon. I think that's Susan's son. No. No? Brother? Maybe a brother. I don't know. Yeah. And Roddy McDowell is Peter Vincent. You know who Roddy McDowell is? The name's familiar. And Planet he of the Apes. Looked familiar, but I couldn't place him. Uh, Cornelius. Cornelius. He plays them the main yeah. good ape in Planet of the Apes. All the Planet of the Apes movies Robert McDowell's in pretty much. So, but yeah. Well, this, this is actually really good. I yeah. I liked it. Some good vampire fun. Yeah, good crazy practical effects, you know? Yeah. I mean, um, Evil Ed was maybe my least favorite character just because he was super <laughs> obnoxious, but yeah. that was the point. Yeah, he's gonna be. A, he's a fun vampire. Yeah, I like that there weren't a ton of characters in it. Yeah, like, so you could build up. Yeah, it was just like a handful of characters, and you were kind of interested in all of them. Which yeah. Was what fun. was up with Billy Cole though? His caretaker. No. What was what he? What was he? I don't know. Yeah. Does anyone know? Maybe he was like a, a Frankenstein monster that was created. To live. But then he died by state. He got punctured and all his reanimation juice fell out or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. What's up with thoughts, Billy Cole? Thoughts about Billy Cole. Yeah. Well, there's a sequel to this. I had never seen the sequel. Really? Yeah, and I completely forgot everything about this movie other than Peter Vincent, Roddy McDowell. I couldn't remember anything else other than he was in this. I also didn't quite understand why Evil Ed turned into a wolf. That's different. Um, they each have their own shape shift character. Peter said something about he's killed them when they're bats. He's killed them when they're wolves. When he was talking about how he was a vampire killer on the show, so just in the lore of this, in, of the vampire lore, they can turn into wolves. So he kind of, we kind of got know. a little werewolf there, mm -hmm. a little werewolf scene there with he led. But yeah, I liked how it kind of does this. Vampires exist in you know this lore and there's movies about them and mm -hmm. this whole like you know horror show that they're watching and so that's where their knowledge of vampires comes from that's which is where our knowledge of vampires comes yeah, from it'd obviously. be like if vampires happened in our world mm -hmm. we'd watch vampire movies to try and fight them yeah right? so who was your favorite character uh peter vincent i think yeah, yeah. okay he's yeah. like a redeeming character like 
Just he this was, guy was supposed to be good at it, he's faking and was it, freaking out, and, and then, then all of a sudden, like, he, stepped he, up to the plate yeah. and made it happen. He actually the found the character that he was playing the whole time. Yeah, at the <laughs> by the end of it all. So yeah, would you let Dandridge bite you? No, no, no. You said he was sexy. He wasn't that sexy. Oh, okay, it was the fingers. As soon as those fingers yeah, came out, you're like, oh, get away from Total me. Total turn off. Okay, get those things away from me. Blech. Well, there's a sequel to this. I wonder if Evil Ed's in it. Probably. Yeah. Well, if they were smart, that's what they do now too. And there's a remake. Really? And uh, the remake stars... Uh, I can never forget his, I remember his name. What else is he in? It's the penguin from the Batman. Danny DeVito. No, not Danny <laughs> DeVito. <laughs> oh, um, Colin... Colin Farrell. Fer- Colin Farrell. Carl- yeah. Colin Farrell's in the remake of Friday Night, and I think he plays Dandridge. Okay. So, well, that's a good casting. Yeah. I wonder how faithful that is to this... We'll have to watch it during a remake month someday. Sweet. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on after Fright Night? Favorite character. Yeah. Right? And what do you think of the vampire lore in Fright Night? Mm-hmm. And what the fuck was Billy Cole? Yeah, what was he? Yeah. Let us know your favorite spe- special effect. For sure. Right? Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full-length commentary, access to polls, helps people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.